Okay, okay folks, well I'm going to be open, re re reviewing the OMI 20 OMI Charge battery pack. Um, I did have the OMI 13, but Amazon decided to send me a returned product. So they sent me a product as new, but it wasn't new, it was somebody's returned item. So obviously I don't want that, I don't want to return products, I want to, when I buy something I want it brand new when I receive it, not a returned product. So um, I I still use Amazon to order the OMI 20 so hopefully they've sent me um, a new product this time. And you might think, oh what would you buy from Amazon if they're sending you used used products more than once? Um, it's just because they're ch they are the cheapest so it's only happens like I think twice, twice now they've sent me return products. So out of all the times I've ordered, so it's not that many, but it seemed to happen in like a pretty short space of time. So this is the first time I'm opening it, by the way. So I'm opening it on video just to show you the boxes are um, it is sealed. not been opened already it's totally sealed so um, okay so let's see if they've sent me a new product or someone's returned item this time so opening it up ah they sent me a new one this time because it's uh, it's got the cellophane on the last the OMI 13 they sent me it wasn't uh, shrink wrapped and it didn't have any screen protector uh, you know like a film on the LCD screen or anything like that that you do get on new products and it wasn't shrink wrapped like this so yeah I can see straight away this this is a new um, a new um, a new item so yeah so so far I'm happy with that they've sent me um, a brand new item this time and it's this is the bigger version in the ME13 I had I am posting that back to Amazon um, at my own expense I've got to pay well they pay up to four pounds for it but I've got to pay the rest obviously it's going to cost me more than four pounds to post them up back that's worth over a hundred pounds because I've got to pay for it to be insured so yeah I've got to put I've got to I've got to pay that little bit extra, even though I sent a used product. So yeah, not happy with that. But I'm um, I've got a new product this time, and um, so yeah. So if you want to read read what it says, I might pause it, but I'll give a brief reading of um, what's on each side. So power anything any anywhere, as you can see, Omi twenty. And if you want to read any of the smaller writing, just pause it and. Have a look. Oh, let's let's have a look on the back first. So, I don't know if you're seeing that yet. So, hopefully that's clear. So it will power a drone apparently two times. Well, apparently the OMI 13 would have powered a, a drone. Um, was it uh, one time? But it w wouldn't even do that. It would only power well the Maverick drone. Um, I think give it about just over half an hour's charge which is obviously it's not going to fully charge it once uh, it says it will power a laptop once a tablet twice a phone six times, camera four times these are just probably just generic so obviously not like uh, any sort of particular drone or laptop so fair enough um, so then that's got on the side it's, that's what's written on the side um then you got this you can pause it if you want to read it as i said there's a whole load of stuff here written in different languages uh, you pause that if you want to read it and so on so yeah that's that's on outside the box anyway should we have a look inside the box okay folks so i've took the the shrink wrap off I'm just opening it. Now this is the first time I have opened it. I've not looked inside or anything. So this is the actual first time looking inside um, the box. 
So, I'll show how this comes out. Oh, yeah, it opens up like that. Okay, it opens up like that. Oh, very posh. And the battery is, I don't know, it's not that much bigger than the Omi 13. You can tell it's, it is heavier, but it's not seriously heavier. It's got the European, it's got the European pin star plugs, which I've got for my drone come with because I want to got a European one. Uh, so for me, I can just plug that straight in. Um, it's got two USB ports there. Um, yeah, so so it's obviously what that is a USB, and then there's, this is the uh, button to switch it on and off. These are buttons to choose uh, what function you want, whether you want the uh, the DC or AC coming out of here and uh, all the USB ports um, that's your charging um, you, you stick your charging wire in there um, I'm not sure what type of charging wire it's come with this is the one without all the extra wires the one with the extra wires is an extra £50 so you didn't really want to pay that just to get some extra wires when I've probably got all the wires I need anyway. So, oh, and I think all your warranty stuff comes in here. Yeah, it's the same as the, the 13 one. Weird, weird, uh, look at that. Weird way of doing the um, pins for the books. Is that right? Must be. Weird. Oh, I suppose you hang them up, you can hang them up. I guess. Um, don't know why you want to do that. There must be some reason for it. And um, here, I guess you've got like the Omi 13 comes with as standard. The um, this is the Omi 20 though we're on about here. Um, the USB charger, which is pretty good because I need that for my when I'm using my solar power when I'm on the move for charging it but it also comes with a by the looks of it a travel plug so you've got like a US you've got um, a UK UK one and you've got a load of other ones as well I don't know which what country is there for and then you've got the, the, the fast chargers so you plug say the UK one I plug that into there first time I'm using it by the way so so this apparently will charge the whole battery in three hours which is not bad for the size of battery it is so um, that's pretty quick I'm not sure how long it would take using this so I think what we should do is um, see how long that takes obviously we'll do, th do that in a bit but it'll be in a bit on this video obviously and um, so uh, yeah, so that's the fast charger. It's quite... It's not too heavy. It's a little bit heavier than most plugs, but it's not crazily heavy. Uh, but it'd be worth me taking travelling, because obviously I want to charge the battery quick, so... Probably, I, I will take it, I know I would. I might do, I don't know. We'll see. I'll let you know on that. Okay, so should we weigh it? Okay, the weight is so important to most people, especially if you're a backpacker like myself or a hiker. It's incredibly important. So this, let's see how heavy it is. This is without any of the wires. It's just the, the battery on its own. So uh, it's coming. I, I'm getting a reading of 612 grams. That's 612 grams. Now... Now, as the fast charger is quite bulky and probably a bit more heavier than your normal plug, um, I'm going to weigh this as well with the uh, UK attachment, the UK uh, free pin plug. So let's put it on, see how heavy that is. Now that is one with the wire. Obviously, the wire is attached to it, so that includes the wire and the UK free 
pin plug attachment that's 194 grams right folks I'm going to see how long it takes to charge the OMI 20 with the fast charger from the OMI 20 being at 15% this is the first time I've ever charged it um, so I'm going to try it with the fast charger first see how long it takes so let's uh, plug it in and it is charging and um, I'll switch on the display and it'll tell you how much wattage it's taking in so it's uh, I don't know if you can see that. So it's uh, taking, oh well, it's, it's taking a lot of wattage. It's taking in 46 watts. So yeah, that will be a fast charge. So uh, let's, let's get, see how long that takes. Okay, so the OMI 20 charges in around one hour and a half to two hours with the fast charger there. And it'll take a lot longer with the 3.0 USB charger. Um, however, 3.0 I think is currently the fastest USB charger system you can get, but it still will take a lot longer. Uh, charging it by solar power. power. Um, with the RAV Power 24, what I've got here, it will take a good six hours on the hottest day in the UK, well, in England. Um, with the direct sun out and you've got to face it direct to the sun so to be honest and let if you're camping in one spot then yeah it's practical but if you're hiking it's not practical solar power powering the OME 20 charger because it doesn't seem to like fluctuations in power and you need a good amount of power to charge this battery if however if you've got a car or a van and you stick a good solar a powerful more powerful solar panel in the window you'll charge it a lot quicker and it'll work out a lot better to be honest if you want to charge drone batteries um, and you're a backpacker without any power source you're better off just buying an extra um, drone battery because it'll be a lot quicker and more efficient to charge than another drone battery rather than charging the OMI then charging the drone battery but um, yeah it's still possible to do if you're in one spot like I said but um, with a car yeah definitely I definitely recommend this charger. It's got so many uses uh, for a photographer or you know, backpacking and charging things. Um, even though it's not really that good in the field to charge the drone battery because solar power is a bit awkward with a small panel, um, I still recommend it. Um, it's got a lot of um, uses. It will obviously charge a lot of things and there's many ways to charge it as well. You can use different chargers to charge it. There's so many options for charging it. Um, it's an expensive battery, but I definitely um, recommend it. Um, I like uh, originally I did want it for charging my Maverick. I still use it for that, but as I said, it'd be cheaper to just buy another drone battery. But it will charge my phone and other things as well. And if you are stationary, as I keep saying, yeah, you can charge it that way. Um, it does charge very fast with the fast charger and if you do charge um, a Maverick uh, battery with it, Pro battery, it will charge um, one and a half, you know, one, full, one battery fully and another one about half from, you know, flat, fully flat, uh, I found. Um, it's not that heavy, the, the battery, really. Um, this one here is only 13 in the video, but... I'm talking about the OMI 20 which is a little bit bigger as you've seen in the previous videos um, on this uh, review um, definitely um, if as I said if you're a photography enthusiast you're a backpacker and you've got lots of electrical gear you can't go wrong with this battery it's just the price is quite expensive but um, it's definitely worth getting if you can afford it that's what I say um, so yeah, so give us a thumbs up, leave a comment uh, and subscribe to the channel if you like the video. So yeah, cheers. Okay folks, can you do me a favour? If you buy this, please use my Amazon link on this video to buy it. I make some money from it and it doesn't cost you any extra. Or you can go on fourseasonbackpacking.co.uk and use the Amazon links on there to buy it. Thank you very much.